our brand new studio is Plainfield, Connecticut. Even with the new studio, we're still doing the diners, Brian. Right. Because people love them. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We're having breakfast with friends. This is the Old American Diner, and that's where Pete Hexat says. Good morning. That's right. Good morning, guys. That's a fancy new studio. I like it. Can't wait to check it out. But we're at the Old American Diner with some friends here. We've been having a great morning. Plainfield, Connecticut, in Wyndham County, a county that has not gone for a Republican presidential candidate since George H.W. Bush. It went overwhelmingly for President Trump. So we're here to talk to the people this morning, get their sense of what's uh, what they really think about the state of the country. And it is definitely not politically correct around here. We're having a good time. Uh, Richard, uh, thank you for your service in the Army and the Navy Seabees, by the way. Uh, I want to get your take on, on how President Trump is doing right now. I think President Trump is doing one heck of a good job, but he's uh, a little stalled out by the Democratic Congress who are trying to make him look bad at every turn. And uh, I, I just uh, think he's a man of his word, and uh, if they let him go, uh, he's going to make America great again. Well, there you go. He says a man of his word. Roy, you build submarines in Groton, uh, well, you did, I did, in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, how, what do you make of, of the resistance he's facing, what he's attempting to do? Well, he's trying to do what he's uh, supposed to do, you know. And uh, like a gentleman said too, you know, people, uh, Democratic Party's holding them back in every turn, They're trying to. So. Uh, what do you make of uh, his response to the attacks in London? I don't like that at all. The, uh, the attack, obviously. Oh, the attack, the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, dead, dead people, that you get rid of them. You know, if they can. He talked, he talked about a travel ban, which is something he talked about for the country. Oh, too. yeah. Tony, uh, uh, what's your, you mentioned North Korea. It's an issue that's yes. huge on the world stage, but yes. not being talked about that much. I served in Korea in 1962. Mm -hmm. And today I sit here with all of you because I did serve there. Many did after me. Today, we're watching this fellow leapfrog to the United States with nuclear power. God forbid. It only takes one. You know, I want America back, and Trump can do it. There you go. Well, and one word we haven't heard this morning is Russia. Uh, no one here talking about Russia, from what I understand. I wish we could have gotten to Lenny, a painter, and Reggie, who's a Marine Corps veteran, served in the Army as well. Uh, but a lot of common sense, and on the menu, you guys are literally on the menu this morning, including the prime rib and eggs is the special. So wow. uh, I'll be having that shortly, of course. I would yeah, like to have his take out. Six in the morning. All right, thanks, All right. Pete. We'll get with Shirley. Uh, coming up straight. Pete Hegseth is having breakfast with friends this morning up in Connecticut. Good morning, folks. You're next. I'm here with Bill and Lenny, a couple of union guys, former Democrats who went for President Trump in this election cycle. We're talking politics every single angle, the terror attacks, Paris Climate Accord, whether they care about it or not. We're going to talk to the people, get their pulse here on Breakfast with Friends. And my prime rib at Ed's, it's cooking right now. I can smell it. It'll be out soon. Stick with us on Fox you know, if you were thinking, I'd like prime rib and eggs for breakfast, we know exactly the place to go today. Steak and eggs. Where should we go, Steve? Go to the Old American Diner, 125 miles north of where we are in Plainfield, Connecticut, where Pete is this morning with a bunch of friends. That is right. Thanks, guys. The Old American Diner is a great place with some great friends here this morning. Had, had a lot of in-depth conversations we're going to bring to you right now. Uh, we're here. It's a county in Wyndham County here that went for President Trump for the first time of any president since George H.W. Bush. I'm here with a couple of Democrats, uh, who former Democrats, who crossed over, union guys, who said uh, President Trump is more represents their interests. Bill, you're a union carpenter, worked for many years, uh, and went and crossed over and supported, for president, uh, supported president Trump. How do you feel like he's doing so far? And specifically, we were talking about his reaction to the terrorist attacks in London. He talked about the need for a travel ban. Uh, what's your take on all that? Well, I'm, I'm glad that President Trump is watching out for us like he should be. And this travel ban thing it never should have been stopped by any of the courts because he has the constitutional right to do that. And putting words... Uh, the, the courts used his uh, words. words yeah. Yes, exactly. His campaign words to put a stop on this ban. And uh, you can't do that. You have to follow law. You can't use feelings. And that's the problem with this country. Everything's feelings now instead of law. That's a great point. Feelings instead of law. Lenny, uh, we've been talking all morning. Your thoughts on how the president's doing so far? I think he has a uh, best interest at heart. And, uh, you know, I think he took the job because he had 
<clears throat> he had the money, he had the recognition. I think he wanted to get into the position of power so he could make change for this country to get the country back on track, mainstream like America used to be. Like he said, let's make America great again. You said, you said the Democratic Party left you. Why? Like Ronald Reagan once said, he was a Democrat, and he said, I didn't leave the Democratic Party. They left me, and I feel this is what's happened again. I voted for President Obama the first time, but I didn't feel the change he made, I felt, was not representative of what he promised. And I felt that the left fringe of the Democratic Party has driven them too far off the mainstream road, and, and that's why the country's going in the wrong direction, and they need to get back on into the center again. Well, uh, Brian Ainsley, Steve, you heard it. Uh, Bill and Lenny kind of town it like it is and feel like the president's doing what he said he wanted to do, which is make America great again. So we're going to keep bringing it to you here from Plainfield. <laughs> and there's his breakfast right there. That is right. We're at the old American diner here. President Trump's up tweeting early this morning. We're reading him. We're going to ask Alan and Gloria and others about Alan, a veteran of Vietnam, the big red one, as you can see on his hat. Uh, we've been talking about President Trump, what's really going on in this country right now. And also, I've got a big old prime rib and eggs on my But Who here has had the prime rib? Oh, we got some fans. I'm telling you, it's solid. I'm going to eat it, and we're going to talk to these great folks. Just in a second. Once upon a time, I referred to him as Pancake Pete. Well, today he is Prime Rib Pete, and he is at the Old American Diner in Plainfield, Connecticut. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I love that fancy new studio, but we love uh, the great people here in Plainfield and Wyndham County, a county that went for President Trump for the first time for a Republican since George H.W. Bush in 1988, and it went overwhelmingly so because of the support of a lot of independents and Democrats. Alan, you describe yourself as an independent, a Vietnam right. veteran uh, yourself. Why did you first initially support President Trump, and how do you think he's doing? Because the way he was going to take care of the military and the country. And how do you think he's doing so far? He's doing great, just that he has a lot of um, rough roads with that uh, rest of the Democrats. Why do you feel like he, he faces so much op opposition from the swamp? Uh, it's because of the way they've been all the years for themselves. More he, for themselves than for the rest of the country. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, Gloria, I want to ask you a quick question. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and he's been up tweeting, this president's been up tweeting this morning. You mentioned that you like that he tweets and yeah, gets his yeah. word out there. I do. Uh, he just, he tweeted, the people, the lawyers, and the courts can call it whatever they want, but I'm calling it what we need and what it is, a travel ban. Do you like his emphasis on a travel ban, especially in light of London? Yes, I do. And I feel that this should have been done long ago. We have just let anybody and everybody come in, and I'm not against immigrants coming in. My great-grandparents are immigrants from Germany, but yeah. the thing is, we have to know who's coming in to keep our country and our families safe. The president also tweeted this morning about political correctness, that he doesn't want the watered-down, politically correct version. He said it yesterday as well. Now, how dangerous has political correctness been? It has put such a shall I say, dent in our country. You, people are, unfortunately, I'm not one of them, but so many people are afraid of saying what they think yeah. because they'll be criticized or whatever. I say what I think with diplomacy. <laughs> with the diplomacy, well said. Well, here, we're here at the Old American Diner. Thank you both very much. Anna, how you doing? Anna's the owner of the Old American Diner. It happens to be her 40th birthday this morning. Is that right? 39. 39? <laughs> I went high, but you, the Old American yeah. Diner has been amazing. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for hosting us all morning, and happy birthday to you. Thank I know you Brian so Ainsley much. and Steve in the studio, Thank they you. want to wish you a happy birthday Thank as well. you so much. I really okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank a you great small coming. business here in Plainfield, a wonderful community uh, that uh, is hoping that uh, jobs and, and everything that, that, that this country needs are coming back. Great. So, yeah. uh, Thank you very well, much. Well, happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. We're glad you were born. There you go. Yeah. Working hard for her family. That's right. And Pete is so smart. He knows if he mentions her name, he gets free breakfast. If he doesn't, no, he's going to pay anyway. <laughs> yeah.